everyone, today we're going to be making the bigger gift bags out of catalogues or brochures or anything you've got to hand. You can do it out of paper, newspaper. Now I'm going to be using my Avon catalogue because I'm an Avon rep, but it's entirely up to you. You can use anything you want. In my last video, I showed you how to make the smaller bags, um, which are really nice for little gifts. Um, but today we're going to be doing the bigger size. Now, what we will do is start off with this one. So this is made out of the actual paper bits in the brochure. So it's a slightly thinner one than the thicker one, which I'll show you later. This one has got a fold down at the top, which you can see there. Um, and then I've just punched the holes and put a little ribbon in there. This one is more like an open bag. And again, we've just punched the holes in the top and put the ribbon. So we'll make the easier one first and then I'll show you how to make that one. So for this one, I'll just show you before we start to make it. So this one's just got a fold down top and then you can put the stuff inside. So we've just folded it down twice, punched the holes in here and then just threaded the ribbon through. So to start, you will need your catalogue or your magazines or anything you've got. Now I've started to do a bit so I didn't, you didn't see me sticking for ages, <laughs> but this is five pages of the brochure. Now to do this, um, all you have to do is pull them out of your book and then you've got pages. So I've sort of destroyed that one now, <laughs> um, but yeah. So all we need is these sort of um, size pages or bigger ones, it's entirely up to you. What we're gonna be making is sort of like wrapping paper. So you just really need to glue it together. So that one's my five sheet ready to go. So I've got one here, which is two sheets. So we're just gonna carry on to make the five because we're gonna need 10 in total. So two up and five across. Okay, so the straight edge is going to be your outside of the bag. So you need to get rid of all your, like, your jagged edges. So they're going to go on the inside. So when you're gluing, make sure that you glue down the flat edge that's facing upwards. So you get some glue. I'm going to go up that bit there. And then you're going to stick it probably about two centimetres in, just so it's nice and sturdy and not gonna fall apart. And then just push it down like that. So we'll keep going. So again, if you wanna choose something on the front that you think um, a certain customer would like or your friend, you you know, if, um, anything really. If they haven't been by, if they've just been buying makeup, you can maybe put pajamas on the front or something cool. You know, if they've just been buying foot products, you could put some, um, some makeup or something like that just to give them a different sort of view on what else Avon does. Okay, so there we go. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're ready to go. So this is all neat on this side. Um, and then we've got your second one here. Okay, so now we need to attach these two together. Again, <clears throat> you need to do about sort of two centimeters all the way along. So we're just gonna do that quickly. If you need to stick the pages together of your other bit, then just pause the video and then catch up in a minute. <laughs> so we're now gonna stick these two together. Okay, make it nice and tidy. And there we go. So basically, you've made yourself a nice big bit of wrapping paper. Now, some people have been, because Avon do boxed stuff as well, so they've been just wrapping the boxes with this, so it just looks a bit different. But um, obviously we're making the bags. So what I've been using is a cereal box. And then what you do is put the paper up to you know whether it folds down like that. So put the paper up to this line here at the top, or you can go down a little bit 
depending on how much you've got here. Now fold it up like that and just make sure that it reaches the top line here. Um, because if you're too low down, you won't have a good um, bottom on the bag. Um, so just make sure that you've got enough for it to, to meet up to this line here. All right, so just the bottom corner. Okay, so we're gonna line that up. Let's make sure we've got enough there, yep. Yeah. Let's make sure it's straight. And then, like you would any wrapping paper, Go around your edges, smooth it onto the box um, so you've got a good edge there and then wrap your other one around and again just smooth it there. Now if you've got like a rough edge obviously where you've pulled it out of the catalogue, all you have to do is just fold it down like so. So you're just going to fold the edge in so it's nice and straight look. Okay, so pull that back round again, and then pull, everything's got to be nice and tight because otherwise the bag won't work. Okay, so there you go, alright, so it will look like that, I've got the open bottom still. So for quickness at the minute, I'm just going to use a little bit of sellotape just to hold that into place there. Now, I don't know how you wrap presents, but for this, you need to push the sides in first, okay? So you just push it down and push that one down so it looks like that. And then when you smooth the edges out, you should end up like a triangle. So I'm just gonna show you how to do that now. So push your side in to there all the way to the back of the box and then you should end up with a flat corner like that. And again with the top. Okay, so you've got a nice flat edge on this bit here and then you've got your triangle here. Okay, so let's go around the other side and fold it in. And show a flat edge like that. And then the top. Now sometimes when you get a bit like this, all you have to do is follow your edge and smooth that corner down as well. So you should be like this now, okay? So now what I tend to do is fold whatever's going to be your top of the box um, downwards. Now the, again, because we've measured it, it should touch the bottom of the pages like that, okay? Can you see? So as long as you've measured it properly, because this is where, if when you put the products in, you don't want them falling out. So this needs to be nice and sturdy. So just push that one down. And again, like you would a present, just push the edges down. Now at this point, I'm gonna get my glue, this one, um, and just go along the edge here. Just make sure you put a nice lot on. Okay. And then push that down. And then you're going to pull the bottom up. Okay. And again, because we've measured it, it's going to be nice and tidy. Now, to reinforce this, I would personally get some cellar tape and just pull it round. And then put some on your corners as well. Now, some people use stickers, some people use double-sided sellotape, so it's entirely up to you um, just to make it tidy, okay? So that's going to be the bottom of your bag. Now, so we've got that open top on the sides, so all you're going to do now is just run your fingers around the corners of the box. See, we've got this open bit where it's a sellotape, so we're going to now sellotape up here. Unlike a present, you want this to be sturdy. <laughs> okay. So all the way up and just over the edge as well. Okay, so we've secured that now. So 
So again, make sure you've gone round all the corners of your boxes, just so you've got a nice flat edge. And there's your first bit. So if you've got this far, well done. So some people um, cut down the boxes and then just leave them in there for a bit of sturdiness, but it's entirely up to you what you want to do. Obviously, if you take them out, you can make it more into a gift bag. So all you'd have to do now is hold your box and pull it out. Now, if you've done all of this correctly, you should end up with a bag that's got no holes in it and is secure. <laughs> so what you're going to do now is at the top, you're going to fold it in half into a V. I'll just do it and then show you. Okay, so it's going to, can you see this bit? Let's come a bit closer to show you. So it's going to be like that, okay? So then you just put your finger into the side of the bag, and run it down, and then just pull your bag together. And then you're left with like a, a T, but an upside down T there, okay? So then, when you open it up, you should end up with an indent there, so we can gather the bag at the top. So again, as long as you've run your fingers up the side of your box when you had it in there, you should have a, a nice line. So we're going to push your finger in and just make sure that it's nice even and then push your finger down and pull your bag together as you go. So we'll sort of do, you know, squeeze it. Okay. should end up nice like that okay so hopefully you've got to that bit <laughs> we're nearly there so obviously to do oh, this bag again all I did was just fold down the top so what we're gonna do is fold once about two centimeters and then fold down again another two centimetres so you're going to end up like that so you folded it down once and then twice nice little gift bag so what I did on the other one was just get your hole punch and then make sure you've squeezed um, your paper hard enough that <clears throat> you've got a nice flat bit <clears throat> and then you're just going to hole punch it okay and then you should have some holes. Um, so now you can just put your ribbon through. So I've got some nice pink here. Again, I've been collecting ribbon everywhere I can. Um, you know on your like tops that you get the extra bit to hang it on the hanger? Cut those off, use that. Um, you get it on pyjamas as well. Um, you can use your Christmas um, string wrap you can use string you can use anything you want <laughs> um, but I, I've been collecting so many different things over the years so it's nice to be able to use them now so you pull that through and then you're just going to tie it up into a nice little bow okay so there's your little gift bag so that's the um, easiest one to do. Um, if you follow it for the smaller bags, same idea, just depends on what size bottom you want, use a bigger box. <laughs> but obviously you may have to add on, because obviously this is five by two, but you could add it like six or seven. If it's a bigger box, if you want a bigger um, bottom on the bag, do it that way. Um, so it's entirely up to you. So that's that one. Um, this one is done exactly the same, but before you wrap it in the box, you need to I'll undo it so you can see. All you have to do is fold down an inch of the top of the paper 
before you wrap it in the box and it just gives you a bit more stability when you put the string through so you've got a nice little gift bag like that but it's just got an inch folded down at the top of the paper before you wrap um so that's all that is um and then what we're going to do is just put um reinforcement in here if you want to but i'll show you on the next bag how to do that so it's entirely up to you what you want to do now that's obviously with the hole punch again and the string these bags depending on the strength of what you're using depends on the strength of the bag really um, these are made out of the um, brochures so they are quite thick compared to some paper bags so I found that I can probably put like a, um, one of the spritzes in there some makeup um, and a hand lotion um, so yeah they're a good idea as well now for the next one this is made out of the Avon Edit. Now, this paper is slightly thicker. Okay. Um, I'll just show you what one of mine looks like. So this is from Campaign 9. Um, and it's just one of our sort of what's coming out or what's new in the magazine. Um, so this is a um, sort of four double page. So it's eight page brochure that we get to go with our other books um, just to give people an idea of what's coming out. So because these are slightly thicker, they are good for the bigger bags. They're quite sturdy. So what we're gonna do, again, with sort of the wrapping paper idea, move those ones out of the way a minute. Um, I've connected the pages together. Now, obviously, when you take the brochures apart, they do come together because they have a staple in the middle. Um, so it's quite good that you've already started off with two pages together. So I've added those four. Um, and then we're gonna add, so we're gonna do four by four, really. So four by two up. Okay, <clears throat> so we're just going to glue that. So if you want to pause it and get some stronger paper or another magazine, it's entirely up to you. So we'll go up to there and add our next bit on. Okay, and then get our next piece of paper so we're going to connect it there and then across there okay so again like the other one you've got a piece of wrapping paper now if you've watched my smaller bag video um, this is what we're going to do with this one um, so it makes it into sort of a bag and then the bottom and then you fold it over at the top but this one you could put handles on if you wanted to so you could fold it over and then put a nice little handle in there so you've got the punched holes in it um, so entirely up to you what you want to do but these are a lot steadier so you can fit a lot heavier items in it so what you're going to start obviously you've got your centre of your page here so all you're going to do is fold it over about two centimetres over the middle line and then score your edge down. Okay. And then fold your other edge over what you've just done. Again, probably this time, maybe an inch and then fold it down. So you're left with that. So this is from your left hand, this is from your right hand. You've gone over the line here and you've gone over the line there. So at this point, we're gonna pull back the left page and then we're gonna put glue all up onto the ins well, the outside of your right page. So it's gonna go on this bit here. Just make sure that when you put in this bit of glue on that you put quite, not loads on, but enough. And at the top and the bottom that you just put a 
little bit more on because otherwise when you do the next bit it won't work okay so we're gonna pull our left page over and connect them so you're left like that and you should you open up have that sort of shape okay so it's all connected okay <clears throat> what you need to do next just make sure it's all nice and flat otherwise it won't work okay so this point obviously make sure that your brochure is the right way up <laughs> um otherwise you don't really want it to look like that so just make sure you've got it that way at the top of your whatever you're working on um and then however big the bottom of your bag you want to do so um, if you want to measure something, you know, we've got nail polishes, um, we've got the diffuser, so you could just measure, measure up the bottom like that. Um, and then I just put a little mark on the paper. So we know that we want to go about four inches up. So I just do it with my finger now, and then I know we want to measure it to there, okay? So all you're going to do now is fold up where your line is, okay. like that, okay, so you're left with an L, okay, so just fold that up, so this is going to be the size of the bottom of the bag. So depending on what you need to fit in it, measure it first and then you know it fits. <laughs> so it's really good actually um, for people who are doing gifts for um, friends or family because if they bought something and they haven't got um, a bag big enough, they can make their own. You can make it out of pieces of paper, wrapping paper. You could um, back the wrapping paper with paper um, just to make it stronger and make your own bag. Um, so anything there's so many ideas but if you write in the comments I can always get back to you with ideas or do another one um, but yeah like this video um, and subscribe then you'll see all my videos I'm going to be doing so there we go so like that so now what you do put it flat on your table and you hold on to one at the back of the L onto the Front of the magazine so it's going to end up like that you say so you're just opening this, this bottom section but just make sure you hold it down and just push it out so you've got it like this okay so you're just basically opening the bottom of the bag like so now like in my smaller bag video it's probably a bit easier to see here but this edge needs to come down to this line and again with this edge needs to come down to this line so I'll just do it with this back edge so you're going to end up with a triangle so you've moved it down to your middle line here you can make the videos bigger um, it's sort of like here somewhere there's like a square and it opens up the video so you can see it full on your screen um there we go so you've just got a triangle and it's in line with your middle section and again with this one i'm just going to pull it down so we make it into triangle into this section so it's all in line so the middle of the um triangle is in line with the middle of this bit here so you're going to end up with that okay just make sure you flatten all your edges down because otherwise it does make it a little bit difficult okay so now what we're going to do is fold the bottom of your bag up over the middle line so you've got this at the minute haven't you okay so this is your middle line so you're going to fold the bottom of the bag in half and make sure it goes over the middle line okay so you're going to fold it up just again because if you don't do this bit 
your stuff will fall out the bottom. So then again, score it. So it's going to look like that. So you can see my middle line here. And I just folded it just over. So you can see where this bit is. So it's about um, two centimetres over. And then this flap here, fold it in half. Over your bottom one that you folded. And again, two centimetres. So you're left like that. So this top section, the bottom section. So now what we're going to do is glue along here. Um, so I can connect the top flap to the bottom one there. Okay. So we'll just do that. So you've got, can you see this diamond here or square if I turn it that way? So this bit here, this is the next section. So if you've got to this stage or you need a bit longer, just pause the video or rewind it and, um, you know, do a bit slower um, because obviously I know what I'm doing. So you can take as long as you like. Don't, don't worry if you mess up. The first one I did didn't go very well, but I've been doing them for a while now, so I know what I'm doing. Okay, so... You can see this diamond. We're going to be putting this edge here into this V here. So we're going to be folding down. So this bit here is here. Okay. So just roll your paper until it fits in. Because this is thicker paper, it's a little bit harder to do. So when we did it with the smaller bags, obviously there, it was um, a lot easier. So right, so can you see your diamond? And then you fold it down your edge, so it fit. Your triangle fits into it. Can you see? Okay, so this edge adds up nicely to here. Okay. That's that edge done. So you're going to do again with the other side. So you're going to fold, you've got your diamond again, you're going to fold this edge into this V here. Okay? Just take your time, don't rush. So for this bag, I, it looks like I folded it down about an inch, but it depends on how big you've made your bag. <laughs> Um, so obviously we've got the diamond there and then we folded it so it's a nice flat edge here look so you can see they're connected so you have to make sure that sits in there properly so it's like that well done if you've got this far okay so let's make sure that you push all these edges down like this because this is going to be um the middles of the app, uh, like this bit here. Okay, right, you're nearly there. <laughs> so now what you have to do, put your hand in and pop all your outer edges out. So if you've scored it enough, you should have um, lots of lines down the sides. So they'll be inverted, so you just want to pop them out again. Okay, like so. Let's pull them down. That one's inverted, so just go down like that. Okay, now the middle bit here, you need to just pop in. So. I tend to just walk it up like that, like we did on the other bags, but this has already got a fold in there for you. So your V there, just pinch it at the top, then you've got a line down there, can you see? And again with the other side, just walk your fingers into the bag, because the line's already there, so you've just got to push it the right way, because it's um, gone outward, so you just need to invert it. 
just to make it into a bag and then just pinch the top. So you should end up like that. Okay, at the side, and at the side there. Now, if you want to be able to do lots of these and stack them, what you need to do, oh, saw out the bottom of this bag a minute, um, is flatten the edge here and then just tease it. You know you've already got your line on your bag from where you folded it. So all you do is fold that down again. And then you can stack them. So if you want to make lots, if you've got um, things to send out, or you've been ordering stuff and you want to make a few for friends and family or customers, you can stack them all up, ready to go. Then you can put ribbon on them or um, bows on them or whatever you want. So they're all ready to go. Anyway, we'll pull it back out again so we can see what we're doing. So this one is ready to go. So you can either fold down the top, which we're going to do, so use your thumbs on in where you want to fold either end and then just pull the bag towards it. That gives you um, an idea of where to fold as well. Make sure it's straight. And then we're going to go down again. So just roll it over and you down again. Make sure it is the same distance of fold. Can you see? And again, because otherwise when you punch your hole, it will just punch holes through layers at the wrong angle. So just make sure that you've folded it down the same amount twice. And then you're going to get your hole punch. Obviously this is if you don't want to enforce the bottom, but I'm just going to punch holes in there. Okay. And then put the ribbon through and you're ready to go. If you don't want to put punch holes in it, you could just staple it um, and put a bow on. Um, I'll do another video for the bows, but they're, again, really easy. And I've got easier ones for you to do as well. So you can put that on there. Um, so yeah, anything you want to do, really. So I'll just show you on my other bag I did. So this one here. So same as what we've just done. But what I did was um, the Avon boxes, um, or if you've got any um, other boxes that you've got, the bottoms there. So I just cut out, so measured the bottom, but just slightly smaller, can you see? Because you don't want it to um, not fit. So just do it slightly smaller, and that just helps you to reinforce the bottom of your bag. And then you can just fold it over, and fold it over again, and put your ribbon through, and you're ready to go. So I hope you've liked this, and I hope you've done well. If you give me a like on this page, um, and then subscribe if you want to see following videos. Take care.